Number 1. Salt Important Canteen. When Sebastian Person and Ola London closed the doors of their acclaimed, and way ahead of its time, restaurant trio, they ventured to open this lunch-only place on the tip of the industrial harbor of Malmo. The walk from the central station can be bleak and cold, but it's definitely worth it. Salt Important is frequented by a creative clientele, and the owners exude an unpretentious energy that trickles down to the rest of the restaurant. Number 2. Restaurant Spill A husband and wife duo, a former chef and the sommelier of two Michelin star Daniel Berlin, respectively, opened this lunch-only restaurant, where the entire menu is built around discarded food from distributors and producers. In other words, they salvage the ingredients that would otherwise go to waste and turn it into dishes that blend Nordic comfort food with the techniques of fine dining. Number 3. Pink Head Noodle Bar The original location of Pink Head Noodle Bar is by far the best stall at the busy Malmo food court, Salia Hollen, in the newly developed area of Vastrahamnen. The menu is built around three noodle-based dishes that change frequently. The hand-pulled to order Biang Biang noodles are a consistently solid choice. Number 4. Pink Head HQ. Pink Head HQ is the mothership of the popular Pink Head Noodle Bar. Australian chef owner Wade Brown interprets various styles of Asian cooking, with a heavy focus on regional Chinese dishes and the nose-to-tail approach you'd expect from a former chef at Bastard. Through his vast network of local farmers. Number 5. Bagarin Ok Bonden. On Saturday mornings at Bagarin Ok Bonden, you'll likely run into every chef, sommelier, and food lover in town getting their daily bread or nursing a hangover. The bakery is known for its focus on using local heritage grains to produce some damn tasty bread. It is not always the most beautiful stuff. Number 6. Pivo. The team who brought us Far I Hatton is also behind Pivo which plays into their obsession with Czech beer. The menu is full of traditional of Czech dishes, think pickled sausage, goulash, and whipped pork's fat on rye, all served in a strangely Soviet-era wood-paneled room. Number 7. Vastergaten. Right around the corner from other members of this list, like Bastard, MJS, and Julie, the understated Vastergaten puts out subtle, seasonal dishes that are consistently ranked among some of the best in the city. Head chef Al Onberg masterly dispenses a mix of technical knowledge and casual familiarity, with an affinity for seafood and a black belt in sauces. Number 8. Bastard. The most rebellious days of Andreas Dahlberg's now iconic nose-to-tail restaurant, when its tables were a gathering place for the city's creative misfits, are likely behind it. In 2010 it was the first in town to properly embody the contemporary bistro wine bar hybrid that has become quintessential in the Copenhagen Malmo region. Number 9. MJ's. The crowd? A slightly awkward mix of millennials and tourists. Look past the party vibe in the lobby, unless it's your thing, to discover something quite enchanting. While a hotel restaurant is generally a hard sell in these parts, MJ's head chef, Frida Nielsen, consistently cooks up wildly original dishes, relentlessly mixing world cuisines and disparate references. Number 10. Valmers. At Valmers, nostalgia meets innovation, and the local obsession with produce grown holistically and close to home culminates. This two Michelin starred restaurant in the middle of the old town transforms basic ingredients into something refined while honoring the flavors and heritage of the Skane region. Summer and fall are standout seasons to visit, as the produce is at its very best. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.